today we are going to talk about Ansible troubleshooting, specifically about the module failure on Windows Target. Sometimes the error code are so complicated, so I will show you one example, the troubleshoot and how to fix it. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Demo time. I will show you how to troubleshoot the module failure on a Windows target. Let's go! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple reproducer of module failure on Windows target using the get URL download file. First of all, let's start our play with a name win underscore get underscore url module demo that is going to target host all of my inventory is a windows host so become false no privilege escalation two variable first is my url that is the source uh, url where to download the file let me copy and paste uh, so it will be faster uh, this is, as you can see, is a tarball of 2.925 Ansible. Uh, destination, my destination is a Windows host, so let's start with a C colon, users, vagrant, uh, let's put uh, and uh, desktop, vagrant is my username, with the same file name as before, 2.925.gzip. Here we go. Uh, now we are ready for rock and roll. On the task list, we are going to have only one task to download the file. So the name will be download file. Yeah, a lot of fantasy. Ansible dot built in dot get underscore URL. This is the Ansible module to download any file. So let's use it. Uh, two parameter URL that will be the value of my URL variable and uh, dest that is the destination, the value of my dest variable. As you can see, this is a very simple uh, reproducer of module failure on Windows target host. Windows target host are quite uh, Mm, are different from uh, Linux host. So I will show you what error could occur if you mm, maybe by accident use a Linux designed module on a Windows host. And let's jump on the console. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me execute the Ansible playbook with the command ansible-playbook-e. Let's specify the inventory file under virtual machine win and inventory. And then my playbook file, that is the one that we typed together for troubleshooting. So get URL error. So the script execution will be pretty fast only connecting to the host and return the module failure for Windows. As you can see, the error message is quite long and complicated. I would like to highlight the module failure and try to uh, troubleshoot together, but it seems complicated. There are some line 29, chart 7, 22, I don't have line 29 on my Ansible playbook because it's only few lines. But uh, I think that uh, the root cause can be discovered if we scroll up a little bit the message. Maybe there are some uh, more hint about uh, where the problem could be. Because uh, right now I'm not able to see any if statement, nothing is quite uh, is so difficult as you can see. Non, uh, we have no clue. Um, this happens sometimes on the error message that are a bit confused, 
but uh, scrolling up uh, you see that uh, Ansible is trying to run some Python code on the target host, but wait a minute, it's the Windows host, it can't interpret Python code, so this is the problem, we need specific code for Windows. Welcome back to my IDE, the Windows specific module are designed to connect to this type of Windows host, so let me substitute the ansible.built-in module with ansible.windows module. In my case I'm going to use win underscore get underscore URL. I know module failure on Windows target host are quite uh, complicated to troubleshoot because the error message is not so human, user-friendly, but we need to remember that for Windows host there are Windows specific module and I will show you that this little correction works in the terminal. Back on my terminal I'm going to run the new fixed code and see the result with Ansible playbook dash e my inventory file and then let me add the playbook. This time is get URL fix. I'm expecting a very fast execution, only needed the time to actually download the file on the workstation. It's going to take a bit longer time than the previous, so it's a good sign that the code is running and yay, we have a change status, so no more module failure as before. We see how to reproduce, how to troubleshoot and how to fix this very annoying error. Now you know how to troubleshoot the module failure on Windows Target and how to fix it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like a video like this give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general keep in contact with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.